Hello, let's have a look on the example of uh, simulation for simple schematics in uh, MPLAB Mindy. So this uh, software allows you to draw schematics and uh, simulate uh, signals. And uh, to start to work with this program, uh, let's create new project by clicking uh, on icon on top. So um, as a source uh, generator, we will use uh, a waveform generator. You can find uh, this in place menu on top and then choose the voltage source and the waveform generator. So you see the picture, we will place the uh, voltage generator to our schematics and then we will add uh, three diodes. One, two, three. So we also need the uh, uh, capacitor to filter output signal and then we need the induction inductor and uh, we will use the resistor as a load and then we will use the resistor as impedance uh, for source voltage source generator. We also need the ground for reference and uh, we need the uh, turn components that our schematics will look nice and readable. So we will select components that we need to turn and then click uh, icon rotate. So rotate and then we will rotate another components. And now we need to place components in a nice manner. So just to move it a little bit. Okay. So, and now we need to connect components uh, to each other in accordance to our schematics. So, to connect it, we will use, uh, uh, we, we need just move our mouse to the pin of component. Then you see that um, you can click by left click on mouse and start the line and then move it and finish it. So to stop um, drawing, we, we need to press escape on the keyboard. So, and then we will connect another component. So schematics drawn. Uh, now we has to change parameters of schematics. Let's reduce the load up to 100 ohms and increase capacitor up to 10 microfarad and increase the induct inductor up to, for example, 200 microgenre. Reduce the serial resistor up to 100 ohm and change diodes to more 160, for example, as a more faster diode. So, schematics are ready for simulation, but we also need the correct parameters of voltage source. Generator. Let's increase it up to five volts. Volts. Otherwise, our diodes will never open. Never will be opened. So now we can start simulate. But um, we should define what kind of simulation. So um, choose a simulator. Choose analysis. And uh, click on transient mode. So we will use the transient mode. Other parameters are not important at the moment. So just click OK. And we can start simulate, just uh, run schematics and simulation has done, uh, is done. So now we want to see different signals around this, this uh, schematics and uh, we need add probe.
probe, uh, voltage probe, and for example, output voltage. So we can see our capacitor. Capacitor is charging with every pulse that working okay. And uh, let's look another point. For example, here, and we can scale it. As we wish. So everything working as should be. So now we can change a little bit parameters, but uh, I would uh, add uh, simulation points as fixed. So click place probe voltage probe. For example, that will be input. Let's add one more probe voltage probe output and change name. That will be nice. Where out touch output voltage in voltage input. And every time when we click run schematics, we will see signals from these points uh, already in new window. So we can see it working very well. So let's try to change, uh, for example, capacitor that we will add a little bit more ripples. So it will be 100 num, nana for us. And uh, we will leave preview simulation in our window and just make new uh, simulation. So run schematics and we will see new simulation and we see the uh, voltage output from new simulation is uh, blue. So we can see blue lines are with ripples. So this should be. So simulation done, very simple uh, example, just to introduce you how it's working little bit and uh, other video probably you will see uh, more complicated more functional simulation thanks